Hi, welcome back to the Carver's Woodshop. This is series number four, and what we're going to do this time, we're going to do a mini Santa. Mini Santa to me is anything under three inches tall. Um, these are all done. Uh, there are no tall, some are an inch and a half, some are about two and a half inches. Um, but I think what we'll do, since I haven't done a tree yet, I think we'll do a tree out of this one. Okay, so this is, let me explain a little bit. Uh, it's going to be an inch by one inch square by and the back the top of the hat will be two and a half inches high so it's a very small piece of wood uh, if you haven't carved for a while maybe this isn't the uh, project for you but if you want to venture as a new carver to try it that's fine usually something a little bit bigger is better for a beginner that's why I went with the um, with the uh, larger ones you can see the difference this was uh, from series number two um, see how much bigger they are so it's a very small project it may take as, as long sometimes longer than doing a big one believe it or not sometimes so we're gonna do um, I guess we'll do a tree in front of this one and uh, what we're gonna do first uh, is you're going to uh, cut your block like we discussed before um, measure it two inches and then just do a small curvature on one side and on the other and uh, through the bandsaw remember you're gonna bandsaw it this way towards the top and once you get that band sawed out then we're going to come back and we're going to clean it up let me move my little guys out a little bit yeah they're very they sell really well um, I'm surprised how many people like these miniatures um, I like them too they just take a little bit of time to do so what you want to do is after you cut it off at, on a band saw you want to go back and just and just cut all the rough stuff off and folks please wear your glove I know I'm not wearing one I've just been carving so long without one and um, what you want to do is just cut that whole thing off just trim it off remember we don't want any rough spots in our face when we start so that crest is up the center so we're going to start with the face now we're going to put a little little line there and we're going to put a little line nah, let's put a make the beard a little bit longer because the tree is going to come up so we're going to measure a little bit on the side like so remember using our finger as a as a point of reference turning it over and doing the other and then kind of match matching the dots in a sense well I'm going a little further I'm not happy with that not enough room sometimes to put the arms so I just finished series number three I had 15 videos on that uh, on YouTube parts so take your time with all the projects you know thanks for those that have sent pictures to me uh, I was so delighted to see how well all of you have been doing some really remarkable stuff keep up the good work and you know if you're new at it don't you know don't hesitate to um, to show us what what you got done I'm gonna lower this just a tad more I'm not happy with where that's at so let's go a little further okay and we're gonna try to match that match this so we're gonna make an oval face is what we're trying to do trying to achieve okay so that looks pretty good so we're gonna go to the top of the hat where the forehead and hat meet and we're gonna just put a one stop cut like so all right and then another one at the bottom All right, and then we're going to follow this line with another stop cut, just like we did in the past. Just take your time. See how much you don't have a lot of room to work with, so just be very, very careful when you do this, folks. Um, it's very easy to cut yourself. Um, you know, it's a very enjoyable uh, hobby. And the nice thing about these small ones, you can take them anywhere. I put a couple in my pocket and take, I use pocket knives. I don't recommend that for the new person. I've been using a stationary knife on the videos just to encourage the new carvers to stick within a stationary knife. But I take a nice pocket knife with me and I throw a couple in my pocket when I go away, go visit my sister or whatever up in Canada. And, um, and I just enjoy, um, you know, pulling pulling them out and just working on them. 
in a chair in in the yard or something, you know, or at the at the table. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to undercut. We've made our stop cut all the way around. And you undercut from where the beard starts underneath the hat, and then we're going to go back. I have to keep reminding myself about the beginners that they don't know what I'm talking about, so I try to explain every step again. I know it's repetitive, but it's for everyone's sake to know exactly how to do this. Okay, so we're going to cut on the underside here until we meet that. See? See how that's done? So this is under, and this is under that cap, and this is under the beard. And you're going to turn it around and do the other side. Actually, this might be a little quicker than a big one, uh, simply because there isn't that much to uh, cut. I do wear some magnifying glasses when I work on these, especially when I paint. Yeah, it's very imperative that you do, especially when we do the eyes and stuff. Okay, so that's the oval part of the face, and um, we're going to dig that out a little further, like so. Just kind of follow that around, make it a little deeper. Okay, folks. When we come back, we'll start on, on, uh, on the face.